Hey, I'm Linda from Linda's Crochet and Mower. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. I just wanted to show y'all my reading shawl. Isn't it beautiful? I know y'all have seen it before, but I added a shawl pin. Got that shawl pin. And then, here is the, the capelet I did for Bag A Day Crochet. I did a capelet for her. There's the capelet. And then I have a brooch I can put on it. I have a butterfly brooch, isn't that pretty? I have a 4th of July shawl pin. And I got this brooch at Walmart. I'm going to put that on bag of days. And then I got a hummingbird. I may put hummingbird on there. And then I got a peace sign. Isn't they pretty? These were half price. At Hobby Lobby. 50% off at Hobby Lobby. This was on sale for $4 and this was on sale for $2 at Walmart. And then this shawl pin, my friend uh, Sharon Ray from Shea K. Ray Crochet, she gifted me this shawl pin. But for the reading shawl, you really don't need a shawl pin. But if you want it to look pretty and dress it up, You can use uh, a shawl pin. I haven't even opened these pins up. <laughs> I'm going to wait later to do that. <laughs> yeah, you can... If you want it to... Come together a little bit more, just put it up a little bit higher. And then that's it. I love these reading shawls. I love them. They're big. Love them. And then this from Bag of Day, I'm going to put a shawl pin on it because I'm going to drape. I'm going to drape this up here like this and put a shawl pin there. I made this so that when I wanted to go to church and I didn't have a dressy top, I could cover my t-shirt up with this and they wouldn't couldn't tell what t-shirt I was wearing. <laughs> but I have skirts but no dressy tops so I made this white. So it would go with any color dress I, a skirt that I wear. So I got it hanging odd. I'm going to put a shawl pin Up here, I'm going to put a pin up here. It's a capelet. It's supposed to have a little pin on one side, I think. So it'll wrap you around. So, now to get on what I made and to get off what I put together and have and everything. Let me put my shawl pins back up. I have them in this little organza bag. Come from Shea K. Ray Crochet. And in my cup this morning, I have water. <laughs> free water from Hobby Lobby. I mean, free water from <laughs> Hardee's. It is 7.33 a.m. It's all coming off. And I have, this is what I made. I was just looking. I don't know. I made another takeaway um, thing, but I don't know. Let me take this off so that I can um, 
and this. I did finish the Everly shawl, but I made it a shawlette from Pamela's Door and Crochet. You can wear it like this if you just wanted a, like a stole, like a kind of stoley wrap. I don't know if you can see me. I mean... Or you could wear it like this if you wanted a more cozier. A more cozier. Um, I call them, they're scarves. I call them neck wraps, but they're scarves. You could do it two ways. You could wear it two ways. And it's beautiful. I'm loving this raspberry ganache in a skinny cake. I will be making a hat to match it later. And then I made this hat. This hat here. This is just my half double crochet hat. This is just my half double crochet hat. It's my 30 minute hat. Airplane lifting off. And then, all of y'all asked that I applied it. A green froggy. <laughs> and then I made a white froggy. And then I made a blue froggy. And then I made an orange froggy. <laughs> y'all seen these, y'all seen that before. But then I made a, another blue froggy. I've got some grandkids that want these frog pockets. So I made Hang on. They're getting wrapped around each other. I made this for Chloe. I got to make 18 of these blue frog pockets for the boys. And then uh, it blew away. And then I made this for uh, the other girl. Um, she lives in my West Virginia. I made that for her. Alyssa. I can never remember her name. And then this is not for any kid. And then this is for the one. This is for my grandson, Jaden. He loves green. This is his frog pocket try to do them in their favorite colors but some of them are too small to say you know what their favorite color is and stuff I gotta find my other frog pockets I got more somewhere I gotta find them they're in my building somewhere <laughs> or in the van so and I think I threw away a pair of brand new shoes I went dumpster diving before. <laughs> I use these trash cans up here at the park to throw my trash away. And I dumpster dived in that one, but it hasn't been empty since yesterday. But I didn't throw my shoes away. But I misplaced them somewhere. I do not know where they are. I will find them eventually. When If I just keep looking for them, I will find them. This is the hat I just made a double crochet my 30 minute hat to go with my gray reading shawl. And then I made water, I know y'all have seen water, water lilies before, I know. But, and I do have a hat to go with it too. But I wanna put a brooch on it. 
and this is by far bigger than the other ones but I'm loving it I love these reading shawls I love the stitch I'm gonna do more of them you can wear it like this and you don't have no worries about it coming off but I would like to put my butterfly right here the butterfly one right there I think it would look beautiful on this Let me get the butterfly out of here. Come on. I think it would look beautiful right here. Like that there. Yes, I love butterflies. See, isn't that pretty? It would be beautiful right there. So, when you see me wearing this shawl, it will have a brooch on it next time so i love the reading shawl love it this is four four skeins of water lilies four four balls of water lilies i bought six i could make a hat with it maybe a little like the reading shawl but maybe a little cape letter something to go in the reading shawl pattern you know to go with I have one ball left because this took four balls and the hat took a little bit of one ball and I have six balls I'm just gonna shove it down here I got to, I can't shove it in that one because these are my pockets I gotta keep right oh no these are my bucket hats i was putting it in the right bag <laughs> i had to put it in the right bag these are my bucket hats and then put this up well i did i can't put nothing in here with my pocket i gotta keep putting frog pockets in here because by 4th of July, i got to have 23 of them things done. But I'm doing them a little bit each time in between projects. Now, i got this shawlette done. I call it a shawlette. It could be a full shawl. You could wear it real nice. And um, I'm going to do another one. I love the Everly shawl by uh, Pamela's Door and Crochet. I love the Everly shawl stitch. And I love the reading shawl by... Um, Ophelia Talks. The sun is really getting to me. <laughs> I think I'm looking at it. I hope y'all could have seen me better than what I see myself. Yeah. Naughty, nice, whatever. I bought this for the Grinch costume at Halloween I wore, but I didn't wear it. I wore something different. I wore the Grinch at Christmas, but I didn't wear this. I wore the whole Grinch outfit. It was so hot. Oh, I like to pass out. <laughs> it was so hot. It was hot at Christmas time in West Virginia. This time we're going, this Christmas we're going to Maggie Valley for three days. Yes, Maggie Valley for three days. No casino because we'll have the kids with us. So we don't get to go to no casino and all that. <laughs> I wish we did. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the flip side.